politicians who wish to target British citizens. I just ask people to project 20 years. Just think 20 years ahead when our children are our age and think we're going to have 20,000 then? Okay. What's this country going to look like? And for me, but the what we're interested in this morning is your organisation. What yeah, was your organisation? Why are you concerned about this? What do you think is their potential? What are they likely to do? Why have you left? Basically, on the fringe elements, for four and a half years, I've been battling to keep out extremists and racists. And I've been successful in that and in steering it down the direction. But the first demonstration I couldn't attend, which was back in February, the first one I couldn't attend, and they were welcomed back. And people in positions of regional organisers well, I thought would stop that and, and stand for the... Are you talking about people like the idiot who had a T-shirt with a mosque on and the words boom underneath, I'm which not, is I'm usually not, offensive yeah, for many I'm not people? Even, I'm not, yeah, he, idiots like, we have complete idiots like that that have turned demonstrations, but these are more organised, splinter organisations that basically each time we've kicked extremists out, they all join together, they set up a different name under three different letters and then they wait like vultures on the, on, on the, on the wings. But would you not concede, I mean, you led these yeah. people, would you not concede that you have actually effectively and maybe subconsciously encourage them to do that and in doing so cause the vast majority of Muslim people in this country who are law-abiding citizens huge offence. No, no, what I'd say has encouraged it is this complete era of cultural sensitivity and political correctness that has completely stifled the debate and when you suppress people's voices which is what we're seeing happening cultural sensitivity and political correctness has facilitated the rape and grooming of young children it's facilitated female genital mutilation this is the land of freedom and democracy and how many people honestly in this country feel they can say freely and, and, and to, if, I, if someone wants to be, be critis, critical of Islam as an ideology or Islamism, that doesn't make them an extremist. So how big a threat do the, do the English Defence League pose to this country? Are, are they just a handful of nutters or are they someone... Are no, they, they, no, the, the, the English defense, serious threat to this country? The English Defence League, as it's been up to date, don't cause a threat to this country. In the last four years, we've had 341 Muslims arrested for terrorism offences. We've had no English Defence League supporters. Trying to compare someone throwing a bottle... You've cost millions and millions of pounds yeah, to the taxpayer because they've had yeah. to manage your demonstrations in yeah, very cost, peaceful it's towns. Co it's cost £10 million in four 